What's up, peoples? I got some stuff today. Got some good stuff today in the mail. And I'll show you in just a sec. What's up, peoples? Uh, got some stuff in the mail today. Not showing you guys everything. Got some top secret baits, too. I know, I know, I know. Everybody has their secret baits, I know. But I can't show everybody everything. Some stuff I have, you know, I have some good deals. With different companies, I'm not saying their name or anything, but yeah. Uh, with that being said, I got baits that have never been out yet. So, you know, if you see me down there using it, and a bait that I never know, that you might not know, just have to wait till it comes out. Anyway, I got someone to show you with the baits that are already out already. Okay. Got me a Skeet Reese. Bucky Craft. Weigh another one of these. This is two and a half inches. Weighs three eighths of an ounce. Four to five foot. This is square bill. Made in Japan. This is um pearl thread fin shad. Nice collars on it. Nice collars. Yeah. All right. Then the second hard bait I got is. A spoon. Yes, a spoon. Hey, listen, it works, right? Uh, fresh and saltwater spoon. Johnson Slim Fish. Figured I'd give that a try. Ship fishing in those deep waters, you know. Might come across an old, uh, an old quarry. Who knows? Or you might have a membership to Penn Warner, which is like 30, 40 feet of water. Who knows? Anyway, all right, I'm going to have two packs of, two packs of these, Strike King, Swimming Caffeine Shad, seven in a pack, four inches, two packs of those. Let's go. And I have some other swim baits, but I opened this pack already, so there's one missing out of it. This is uh, Kytex Swing Impact Fat. And 3.8 inch in Sungill. So yeah. And what I use for those is the new Berkeley Fusion Hooks Swim for Swim Baits. So I got two packs of those, and I'll show you what these are. Let's see this. You get four in a pack. I use two of these already. And I think which is unique, that I've never seen this before, as, I don't know if you guys can see that. It says three out on it. I don't know if it's going to focus. On this, it tells you with the, uh, that's, that's by far the first hook I ever seen that's stamped on it. Well, it's actually stamped on the weight, though, but the actual size. I think that's a fantastic idea. Like me, I've just been fishing so long for bass. I just know the size hook it is just by looking at it. Anyway, that's good for beginners, though. And I like this little, little uh, how they put them in there, too. So if you ever really like fishing... Can we use this maybe? You know, put some little terminal tackle if you're just going to go hit the water for a couple baits or whatever. Put that in there. Um, I got some hooks. Got some hooks. Owner hooks. Four rots. 
all purpose bait all purpose soft bait hook and four rot. All purpose and same thing in two rot. Very sharp hook. Everybody knows I like owner hooks. And I got some two rot chokar hooks. And I got a couple packs. Uh oh, let me see. Okay. I think I might give a pack away. I got two more packs of Gamagatsu uh, G Lock worm hooks. He's kind of unique design there. Keeps the on better. And. Here we are. I got some owner mosquito hooks. I got two, two watts, three two watts. Nice big hook. All around wacky wig, wacky, wacky rig, not wig. Anyway, uh, three of those. All around good hook. Says on it. Let me see. It actually says something in the back of it. It says minnows, crawlers, leeches, nose hook, plastics, wacky worming, drop shot rig, and live shrimp. But yeah, so I got three packs of those. One one hot and two size ones. Last but not least, uh, tackle warehouse bag, tackle warehouse bag, twins. Anywho, this bag pretty nice. We have my new bag. I like I like it already. Because, take this tag off of here. It has, the, it has a nice layout. Very nice layout. Alrighty. I'll show you this. On there. Saw plastics. Two saw plastics on these. Binder. Bags. Binder bag, binder bag, sunglasses, uh, camera, GoPro, fishing licenses, uh, whatever miscellaneous you want to put in there. It has nothing right here. Then, I'm open this. Close this here. Right here, it's a mesh pack, mesh like a uh, rubberized mesh, so your hooks don't really get into uh, fabric like that. This your hook could get coy one though. They should have made that more durable, like this one is, but this is still a good bag though. It's a water bottle. You can hold, put your rod in there, clip your rod together like this, ready to go. Stick the rod in there, you got a drawstring on this side of here. Same thing the other side. And this right here has a, I don't know what you, miscellaneous thing that you can put your stuff in here. A little pocket. A deep pocket right there. Function with a zipper. All right, uh, has two of those for your pliers here. Put your pliers on side of that. This is the same thing as the other side. Is uh, this uh, one right here? All right, now let's open up the main compartment. Let me open up the main compartment first.
and it folds open just like the Shimano Black Moon. Bang. Look at all that space, there, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Nice space. Nice space. 3700s all up in there, baby. You have some more stuff. Put some more doors right here, waterproof. Well, I'm not going to say waterproof. I'm going to say, like, mostly water resistant. I mean, I wouldn't go through a uh, swamp with this going back. Alrighty. Oh, and last but not least, I'm going to show you this. There's a little pocket right here. You guys can see that right here. Ooh, we see down the pocket. Right in back of it. You know, uh, padded, nice pads on it. Drawstring. And the D rings right here. You clip it together for more support. And that's about it. No, I got two of them bags. Alrighty. Tight lines, brother and sisters.